Hello my friends, hope you're having a lovely day. My name is Jared from IO and I'm here to keep you amazing people up to date with everything going on in our world. Unfortunately today I have a sad story. On August 18th, a deaf man was shot and killed by a state trooper in North Carolina, minutes away from his house during a traffic stop. Daniel Harris is a 29 year old victim who was shot by state trooper Jermaine Saunders. Harris leaves behind his loving family including his 4 year old son and brother Sam. As of right now there is still plenty to investigate and determine, however according to multiple reports, state trooper Jermaine Saunders tried to pull Harris over for suspicion of speeding on Interstate 485. After a roughly 7 mile car chase, according to police, Harris stopped the car and got out. I'm gonna say Harris, who is a deaf man, most likely didn't hear any sirens. And he probably also didn't see the lights behind him either. When he finally noticed the trooper, he pulled over like anyone else would, but again, no one is absolutely certain as to what actually happened. According to one of the victim's neighbors, Mark Beringer, the state trooper's car was smoking and then the gun went off. He was quoted saying, I was here in my driveway and I saw the Howie Patrol car come through and it was smoking really bad. About 10 seconds later, I heard one gunshot. The gunshot Behringer heard was in fact the one that killed Daniel Harris. Detectives are saying that there was some sort of altercation before the gun was shot, while Saunders himself said he shot Harris because he was advancing and not following commands. Daniel's brother Jay Harris thinks his brother was trying to communicate with sign language, but Saunders didn't realize. Jay was quoted saying this about the whole situation. He could not hear their warnings. He could not hear their commands to stop or stay away from them. He was unarmed. And he is a deaf individual, and I think that he was just afraid. Daniel's neighbor, Behringer, thinks the entire situation could have been handled better by Saunders. He was quoted saying, They should have de-escalated and been trained to realize that this is an entirely different situation. You're pulling someone over who is deaf. They are handicapped. To me, what happened is totally unacceptable. Daniel Harris's family has set up a donation page, which we will have in the description below. The family is raising $40,000 to pay for the memorial and cremation expenses. They've also planned to set up a foundation in Daniel's name with any leftover money. The page reads, Our family is raising funds to cover his memorial and cremation expenses. Any monies left over will be used to set up a foundation in his name to educate and provide law enforcement proper training on how to confront deaf people. Subsequently, we hope to change the DMV registration system by requiring states to set up a deaf alert to appear when law enforcement officers look up a car's license plate. With this change, Daniel will be a hero in our deaf community. As of right now, their fund is at $27,000. Unfortunately, this is another statistic to add to the many previous cases of a police officer or state trooper killing an innocent man. I don't want to blame either party here because in a police officer situation, it can be very scary. So I'm not for one side or the other. With that being said, I do think certain situations, including this one, could have been handled a little more delicately. Jermaine Saunders has since been placed on administrative leave, which is standard protocol when an officer is involved in a shooting. The investigators working on this case will be reviewing the dashboard and body camera of not only Saunders, but the other officers from the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department who arrived at the scene after hearing shots being fired. Once again, my name is Jared from IO. You can follow me on Twitter at Bronze 7 Check out IO on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and subscribe to get notified when your favorite channel uploads a video. I love hearing from you guys, so comment your thoughts on this unfortunate situation below, and I will see you gems later.